Hi everyone, thanks for watching my online lesson on simplifying thirds. So thirds is a skill that can go all the way up to grade 8 and grade 9, but in this video we're going to cover one of the basic skills you need to know, and that's how to simplify a third. So the first question I've got is simplify root 50. Now if the number underneath the square root was a square number, so for example I add root 49, the answer would just be 7. And that would be a really basic skill, not something looking at higher tier. The reason this is harder is because the number underneath the root isn't a square number. But if I can split it up into a square number and some other number, then I'll be able to simplify it. So I need to think, what square numbers go into 50? So knowing my square numbers, I've got 25 that goes into 50. And it's important we pick the biggest square number, and that is the biggest that goes into 50. So I'm going to split root 50 into root 25 and root... Now 25 times 2 is 50, so that's going to be root 25, root 2. So that is the same as root 50. Now I've split it up. Because I've got a square number um, in one of my root, so I've got root 25, I know what root 25 is. The square root of 25 is 5. So I can simplify this by writing root 25 as just 5 and then my root 2. And that's it. This is that question done. It's 5 root 2. Okay, looking at the other example, this time I've got simplify root 80. So I need to think, what's the biggest square number that goes into 80? So 4 does go into 80, but that's not the biggest. The biggest is 16. So I'm going to split this into root 16 and root, and 16 times 5 is 80, so it's going to be root 5. And just like before, using this trick of picking a square number, root 16 is just 4. So my answer is 4 root 5. I'm just going to show you what would have happened if I'd have picked 4 as my square number instead of 16. So what if I don't pick the biggest square number? So if I'd have picked root 4 then the number underneath my other root would have been 20. Now root 4 is just 2, and we get 2 root 20. Now this isn't fully simplified because there is a square number that will go into 20. It's 4 again. So this splits down even further into 2 root 4 root 5, because 4 times 5 is 20, and my root 4 is just 2, so I have 2 times 2 root 5, which is 4 root 5. So actually, it doesn't matter if you don't pick the biggest square number, you do get the right answer eventually, it just takes a lot more working out, and you might get to this point here, this point here and think I'm done and that's when you won't get full marks so you need to just spend a bit of time at the beginning and think what's the biggest square number that will go into it. Here's two more examples where it just gets slightly more complicated because this time there's a number in front of the root but I'm just going to ignore it, I'm just going to leave it at the front, I'm just going to ignore it and deal with it at the end. So this first one says simplify 2 root 24. So just looking at the root 24, what's the biggest square number that goes into 24? That is 4. So I'm going to split that. I'm going to write down my 2 and I'm going to split the 24 into root 4, root 6. Now the root 4 is just 2. So I've got my 2 here. This is also 2. So times 2, root 6. And 2 times 2 root 6 is just 4 root 6. And that's the answer. It's a similar process with this next one. So I'm just going to leave the 3 at the front. And then what's the biggest square number that goes into 45? Well, it's 9. 
and that's going to be root 9, root 5. And then I've still got my 3. Root 9 is 3, so times 3, root 5. So 3 times 3 root 5 is 9 root 5. And that is my answer. Here are two questions for you to try. If you are struggling with your square numbers, I would make a note of them down the side of your page first before starting. And you can pause the video and unpause when you're ready to see the answers. Here's the answers. So the first one, the biggest square number is 36. So the final answer is 6 root 2. And the second question, the biggest square number that goes into 48 is 16. So you end up with 20 root 3. I've just shown you in red here on the second one, if you'd have picked 4, because 4 is quite obvious that it goes into 48, but it's not the biggest square number, you might have got to this point where you've got 10 root 12. If you finished there, you would have got some marks for this question, but not full marks because it's not fully simplified. Um, there is a square number that goes into 12 and that is 4. So this splits down further if you did it this way. You should have got 10 root 4 root 3, which is 10 times 2 root 3. So that's 20 root 3. So you can get to the answer this way, but you should have done these extra steps of working out. Thank you for watching.